Watson X to AI. It's a product from IBM. Dive into an incredible large language model tool, bridging the open source like Llama 2 model and the IBM proprietary model like the Grey Knight model. In today's guide, we will unveil the vast capabilities of Watson X to AI, from summarization to entity extraction to code generation. Let's dive right in and learn about how to set up Watson X to AI on IBM Cloud. First, come to IBM Cloud login page. Logging into IBM Cloud, once in, hit Create Resource. Type in Watson X in the catalog search and pick it. Tap on Get Started with WatsonX.ai. Here, you can choose the location that applies. They are Dallas and Frankfurt. Once you choose, select Login. Give it some time for setting up the WatsonX.ai environment. Now give the terms a thumbs up. There will be a quick tour to speed things up. We will skip that. We are now ready to rock with WatsonX.ai in IBM Cloud. Let's dive into WatsonX.ai and start by creating a new project or using an existing one like the ST project I have created. Let's click on ST. Click on New Task. Experiment with Foundation Models and Build Prompts and the tools offers a collection of sample prompts. For example, under Summarization, you can find prompts such as write a short summary for the meeting transcript. Under the prompts, we provide examples to guide the output. Here, you will find two samples with their transcripts and their corresponding results. With the input here, when you click on Generate, the tool provides a summarized version of the given transcript. When you click Models, View All More Foundation Models, Different models are available. In this case, we are using FlanUL 20 billion models. We also have other models such as Llama 2 70 billion chat. And there are also IBM proprietary models like the Grey Knight models. As it is still new, expect more model additions in the future. If you prefer, there's an API code. This lets you bypass the user interface and integrate with other programming languages such as Python. It also allows you to define model parameters. The greedy parameter opts for the most probable outcome while sampling offers more creativity. Other parameters like repetition penalty and stop sequences will explain later in different examples. It also lets you define the number of tokens in the output. For instance, in our example here, setting a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 200 tokens. There are different categories of prompts here. Summarization, summarize large text, Classification classifies text such as sentiment classification. Generation generate text like marketing email. Extraction identifies and extracts text like entity from sentences. Question answering gives answers based on the provided article. And code generation generate code based on specification. Let's click on marketing email generation. Under decoding, sampling is utilized because it provides more parameters for creativity. For instance, a higher temperature increases creativity. A temperature of zero is equivalent to greedy. Let's click on code generation. Here you can see the model requires stop sequence of end of code to signal the end of the code generation. If we click generate, the output will be end with end of code as well. Now let's create our own example to understand about repetition penalty. When we click on name entity extraction, we change the prompt to extract entity and use an example. Let's use I love apple. We aim to extract apple and label the entity as fruit. Our desired output format will be apple colon fruit. If we input I love orange and hit generate, orange colon fruit appears. However, there might be extra text. To understand why, it's clearer to view it in a freeform format. Sometimes, due to the way examples are given, there can be repetition in the results. To avoid this, we can adjust the repetition penalty. For instance, if we set it to 1.5, the output becomes just orange colon fruit. This teaches us the importance of the repetition penalty in ensuring clean outputs. Alright, let me know if you like more content on WatsonX.ai or other related LLM topics in the comments below.